Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bami Okunyoye. I would like to start this speech by showing you all a clip. I really don't know. I just don't get it. I don't know why. I can't figure out. I don't understand why the only thing people see me as... The only thing. The only thing people see me as is... Violent. Promiscuous. Shallow. Illegal. A genius. No, I won't mow your lawn. No, I can't fix your computer. No, I haven't been to jail. I was born in America. I don't know karate. I don't belong to a gang. When? When? When will we see a change? When? When? When will you realize I'm not who you think I am? Yes, I'm good at basketball, but I'm also a straight-A student. Yes, I understand the complexity of calculus, but I want to be a dancer. Yes, I like to look nice, but that doesn't mean I'm a rich... Why do TV shows, magazines, movies, websites, commercials portray me as a person I am not? Do you realize? Do you realize? I breathe the same air you do. I bleed the same blood as you. I shed the same tears you do. Stop. Stop judging me. Stop. Stop stereotyping me. And start treating me like an equal. Now, is this you? Has this ever been you? I thought, why can't we break the mold? I chose this topic as I've been on the receiving end of many stereotypes, and it made me think, what would our world be like without stereotypes? But before I can answer that question, I first had to know, what is a stereotype? On the screen, you can see the definition. Grouping, lumping together of a thing or person is essentially what you do when you stereotype. But then I had another thought. How can we stereotype people if you're all unique? If everybody in the world is so different, then how can we generalize people based on race, gender, or even hair color? When you look at it like this, it seems that stereotyping is a shortcut taken by the brain that strips a person of their identity. But then there's always the other side, and that's positive stereotyping. Here's the picture. You're in the woods and you're hiking, and you see a mountain lion. Now, are you gonna think, well, I know most mountain lions are dangerous, but maybe this one's vegetarian. No, you're going to stereotype the mountain lion. You're going to see the danger, and you're going to potentially save your life. N now, another example, little children with strangers. Should they stereotype all of them? In the world, it's commonly known that many Asians are perceived as geniuses, as ICT whizzes, as being great ma mathematicians. And is this really a bad thing? If someone came over to you and asked you for your help because you're a genius, I'm quite sure you wouldn't be offended. For me personally, I've been asked a million times if I play basketball. I can't even do a layup, let alone a slam dunk. But I don't know whether this is because I'm black or tall, or maybe it's a bit of both that I get asked this uh, regularly. This is why I think positive stereotypes are not so positive. It limits the notion of what can be seen as normal. It narrows people's minds and it promotes ignorance. Yes. It is normal for a basketball player to be tall and black, but not all tall black play people play basketball. And then I'm going to go on to my last quote, my last uh, point about my quote, quote on there by Chris Hitchens, which is in response to Bill Clinton being described as the first black president of the United States of America. Now, why is this? Well, this is because of the black stereotype of the ghetto life in America. Many black Americans grew up just like Bill Clinton. Dysfunctional family, bad neighborhood, bad education, and he can even play jazz music. Now, many other white Americans have experienced the same upbringing. But why is this seen as being black? I think it's absurd, and so does Chris Hitchens, that being black is seen as a lifestyle and not seen just as a skin color. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, stereotypes are not a very black or white area. Although some stereotypes can lead to prejudice, racism, and bias, it's still widely accepted in our world as a natural function of the brain. This should not be the case. Stereotypes on people should definitely be abolished. When you leave this auditorium, I want challenging you. I hope when you look at someone that's foreign, I hope you think, can I fight my brain? I hope you think, how would I want this person to see me? I'm Bami Ogunye, thank you very much.